Now let's take a look at this figure 21-37. Uh, 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 and let's just start at the very top of the illustration. And notice here we have a cable covering gas and vapor tight. And according to 501.15, D is in dog one. And there's no seal required, leaving the boundary anywhere based upon this type of MCHL cable. And when the jacket is removed, uh, we seal around the core, and then we use a special sealing uh, boot inside our compound to seal the core, uh, and then we're, the installation's complete. We haven't entered any classified area or left any classified area until we terminate from point to point. And, of course, you know in Article 100, Part 3, uh, we have uh, uh, the enclosure, uh, uh, explosion proof, uh, uh, defined. We have uh, wiring methods uh, uh, defined in, in, in the 300 series. But uh, notice the next cable below it is a multiple conductor cable shielded or twisted pair. Now, once again, notice that uh, we do not have to cut that shield and maybe create an unwanted noise problem. We just come in, have a seal, seal around the core, and this is where we use the fitting uh, that uh, it's a boot that will seal the core or we use a compound. Up at the top illustration now, there's where we would use a listed seal and fitting that would seal around the core and the fitting would seal the uh, core, the inside, the conductors there. So that's the difference in the top one and the second one, the middle one. Now the bottom one here, notice that we uh, have a conduit uh, system, but look at the cable. The cable in the conduit is capable of transmitting gases or vapors through the core in accordance with 501.15D2. Now anytime we use a cable, we've got to review it and see if the cable is... Uh, cable of passing vapor through the core or not. We have to review that based upon the cables when we start reviewing the cables in uh, 501.15, uh, uh, I believe it's D and E that we would review very uh, closely there. So again here, now notice at this bottom illustration, we seal within 10 foot of the boundary in accordance with 501.15A4 and 501 D is in dog 2. And then notice, as we said, we would seal around that core and we'd have to use a fitting around the uh, cable that would fill the uh, uh, core so that we wouldn't uh, pass the vapor uh, through the core of the cable. And then, of course, the raceway systems is... Uh, sealing around the cable so it wouldn't pass uh, through the conduit system. So we find this 18-inch rule of sealing now in 501.15, D3 is in dog. We pick it up in 501.15, A is uh, 1 is an apple. And then the explosion-proof equipment installed at atmospheric pressure conditions we find in 501.15, D3 is in dog. So that's what the illustration is kind of illustrating to the uh, NEC user. It's where cable seals is needed based upon using cables or cables in conduit and so forth. And this is a class one division one area in accordance with 501.15, D is in dog one, D2, exception, and D is in dog three. And that's what this illustration is illustrating to the user of the NEC.